Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be tackling uh, nested categories and grouping methods with Bokeh. So let's get started. So previously we had uh, worked with um, stacking uh, bar graphs and I personally believe that those aren't necessarily the most easy to read and they're not definitely not the best uh, way to visualize um, bar graphs and grouping data. So let's go on and talk about how we would nest uh, would use like nesting categories and and bring them in a little bit different groupings okay instead of necessarily stacking so let's create up a new um, uh, file and say uh, bokeh uh, bar and I think this is 04 so first off let's do from uh, bokeh.plotting we're going to import figure and show. Then we also are going to do from bokeh.models, we're going to import our uh, column data source and we want a factor range. And then also uh, from uh, bokeh.palettes, we're going to import uh, spectral three, I believe. I think we're going to want three of them. Um, now the next thing that um, I'm going to actually do is I'm going to go on and open up and I'm going to steal some data from um, one of our previous, uh, do we want the import and export data with this one or do we want to do, let's actually grab a different one. Let's grab up from Bokeh Bar 2 I believe. And so here we're actually going to just grab up some uh, random random data and I'm going to actually grab up that whole I want this whole bit here and I'll put this in here so um, we're going to be uh, grabbing in uh, random data in here random sampling of, of uh, some range of 10 based on some of our data and we're going to be doing this for three years um, and let me actually just put in a note in here and say generate random data uh, and then we also want to go on and um, uh, source out this data uh, and I will go about this and uh, let me actually go about this in a couple different ways uh, here in a minute um, oops um, and actually I want to go back over here and grab another set we actually want these as well so <clears throat> so here we're going to have a data set of our fruits the years of our data as well as um, as well as the counts and again this is going to be the counts for each year so let's go about actually creating up um, our grouped data okay that's going to be actually one of the the key things that we're going to need in here um, and we're going to grab and we're going to be grouping them by our year and by our fruit so um, let's just call this what f for uh, uh, fruit year combo in here so we want a list and it'll be why why, why does it oh because I have a space there let me move this up a little bit and what we're going to do is we're going to create tuples a list of tuples for each fruit and year combination so let's do something like a fruit year um, for fruit and fruits and uh, for fruit and fruits for year in years and I want to change this to years um, fruits and uh, fruits uh, years years okay that's good and we do not want that there okay and that should give us up a, a list of tuples for our fruit and year combinations now we also want to create up uh, some counts in here so let's do the sum here and we need to zip the data so uh, here we're going to actually grab data um, and we want 20 uh, 
2019. Okay. Um, and then we want what? We're zipping this. So uh, data 2020, data 2021. Uh, and then we also want in here um, some blank in here. And this is going to be for, uh, this is going to be for kind of like a horizontal stack, very similar to that. Um, now we have our source data and actually I need to change this because we're going to be using this other data that we created before for that. So source and it's not going to be data in here. Um, fruit year is going to be fruit year. Oh, and we need a dictionary, sorry. Let's call this DF for now. Um, and it's going to be a dictionary here of uh, fruit ears equal to fruit ear, uh, counts is equal to counts. And then our data in here is going to be equal to DF. Um, <coughs> so that is cleaned up. So then now let's actually go on and create up our figure. So and you know what, let me scroll down just a little bit so you guys can still see that. Uh, figure in here, and we are going to create our X range in here, and this is where we're actually going to use that factor range in here, and we are going to unpack this fruit year. Okay, and that's actually gonna help us make out um, these sections that we're wanting, our plot, Height is going to gonna stick it to our normal 250, um, and then our title here is going to be a uh, fruit counts by year, uh, and then let's go on and remove our toolbar, uh, and then we also want to go on and make sure that we don't have any tools as well. So we'll do this as a vertical bar. Um, X here is going to be, a what did I say, fruit counts? Fruit ear? Fruit ear. Um, and then uh, top is going to be counts. Uh, width here is 0 0.95. Uh, and then source is going to be source. Uh, so let's take a look at this and whoops, that's not going to do me any good if I don't actually tell it to show it. And let's take a look and we see here that it's we have plots, but they are definitely not very clean. They're not very pretty. Um, here we do have some uh, labels in them, but we definitely want to maybe give these a little bit more space in between. We definitely want to maybe angle or make these wider so that they actually look kind of pretty in here. It just it, it just kind of looks a little bit like a mess. So let's change this up and maybe make the width 0.9. And then let's go on and um, uh, maybe clean some stuff up here. So P dot Y range is gonna be the first thing that we want here. Um, and start at zero because again if we if we go back over here again notice that's where we get this gap in here we want to make sure and get rid of that kind of they kind of look like they're hovering in air so let's make sure that they that Y range starts at zero um, Y and then now let's look at um, the X range in here um, and then let's give it some padding Um, and now that range padding in here is what is going to be here. Okay, it's going to give us a little bit of extra uh, bump in here. Uh, and I think, mm, I think let, let's actually let's actually take a look at this and see see how it looks. Okay, so that get, definitely gives us a little bit of padding. Now another thing that we need to take care of is definitely these. Um, these years in here they definitely do not look very good now what we can change with this is just the access orientation 
so p dot um, p dot x uh, grid dot major or x axis sorry axis dot major uh, label orientation and if we set this to one okay um, let's take a look all right and that actually gives us this nice tilt in here okay so those those are definitely nice and clean um, now one more thing that uh, we want to do and again here you can see that these um, X uh, grid lines are very kind of haphazard uh, so let's go on and get rid of those as well so here P dot X grid and we want to do our grid line color is going to be none and this should make a nice clean um, grouped bar plot in here so we have our year or our fruits and our years as well as their counts uh, now this is definitely um, very pretty uh, but one thing that I am definitely um, not exactly uh, the biggest fan of in here is that the colors are completely off okay they're all the same color they don't give us any variation and it's very a very stagnant um, when it comes to uh, comes to our colors okay so let's go on and um, uh, maybe give it some color so one way to do that is actually going in here to our V bar and we can do something like um, we have we already grabbed some of our spectrum so maybe that would be um, useful to us in that aspect so let's go in and do that and I think we can do something like um, fill color in here and do a factor map um, factor C map in here and then we want something like a fruit uh, fruit year year and we want a uh, uh, palette is uh, let's see if we can do that spectral 3 in there uh, factors is equal to um, years start is equal to 1 and is equal to 2 um, and I need to go on and import um, that uh, factor C map so let's go on and why, why is this here don't want that there um, and so let's go on and grab that real quick and so that um, <clears throat> that uh, C map okay because we don't we don't actually have it defined here you can notice here it gives us this little hello little error in here is going to be from bokeh.transform we're going to import factor C map and let's give that a try and see if that works okay so now this actually gives us some nice colorations in here um, it gives us again some uh, a little bit of taste uh, for our uh, color scheming and I think that's um, going to be pretty good for um, this uh, next example that we're uh, going to want to do now one one thing that we have um, done in the past okay so we've done we've done stacking we've done grouping now let's do stacking and grouping okay and I will do that in the next video so if you guys want to see that please comment subscribe and hit that like button and I will see you guys next time bye bye